Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. And today we're going to be doing some unknown gems, some bands that maybe people aren't as aware of. Before we get into it, I do want to remind everybody, if you're enjoying the channel and what I create, if you could like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Today's band is going to be Car Bomb. The song is Z Zozoy, Zazoy, XOXOY, uh, featuring Courtney Swain. I'm not sure who that is. Um, maybe I know who they are, but just not by name. Um, and I kind of have an idea that Car Bomb is just crazy absurdity, mashing together a lot of stuff like a... Uh, between the buried and me, that's just a little less, a little more chaotic, I guess, <laughs> might be a way to look at that. Um, so let's get into this and um, see what's going on here. So it's XOXOY. Time changes there. Just in complete awe at the musicianship to not only be able to play all of this, especially in a live set, but also to remember all of this. And if I'm not mistaken, that was a retardando. I mean, uh, formato. The short from out of way. Even when they introduce more palatable vocal style it has to be married with the most eight on an old chromatic section of the music. I like that Tom uh, fill there. Introduce just a little bit of calm into a lot of this chaos.
bring back the intro. For a moment, anyways. really figured it was over, but <laughs> I guess they have different plans. All right. Um, I got a, oh, I got suggested car bomb. Uh, from Garrett Miller drums. Is that new? Anyway, Garrett Miller is a fantastic uh, reactor. He's a, a jazz drummer, uh, and he reacts to drum cams and and lets you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm plugging his channel right now, but <laughs> uh, if you haven't heard of him though, I highly recommend it. He's a very knowledgeable drummer, and he has lots of really good insight for drumming in in metal music. But uh, yeah, that one's for Carbom. I I pretty sure that's new. Got to check that one out. Um, uh, so yeah, let's see. <clears throat> Car bomb. X O X O X O Y. If we're going on the lyrics, uh, it actually, I'm pet peeve here. It actually irritates me a little bit that the lyrics have two repetitions of the X O. And the title only has one repetition. All right, let's get to the music, though. This is not a song I enjoy. <laughs> this is two for two with Car Bomb. That just is not my cup of tea, not really up my alley. But as I mentioned earlier, there is just this respect and appreciation for the musicianship that goes into this. It is not easy to perform at this level. Um... One time live, but then to also have to back it up with, you know, six, seven, eight more tracks uh, in the same live session, the same concert, and then touring and doing it every night and just playing at this level all the time is ridiculous. And then just remembering it. This is two songs that we've listened to from them that are just wildly diverse with tons of little micro switch ups. This bar does like. I mean, this song does like two bars of 5-4 and then a bar of 6-4 that's at a slower temp uh, tempo. And it's just all these little micro things. It's not like memorizing a full 16-bar phrase and repeating it twice and then, you know, having to do your next 16-bar phrase. This thing changes every other bar. Uh, tempo changes, fermatas, uh, time signature changes. It's all over the place. Just to be able to remember an entire set is just phenomenal. Um, it, it just, it kind of blows my mind. Um, the only times I've ever had to memorize music as a musician is for marching band, which is a 15 minute show, maybe 16 minute show tops. Um, and even that might be a little long. It might actually be more like 10. I mean, it's been over a decade. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, you know, it's a double digits, maybe between 10 and 16 minutes worth of music that you have to memorize uh, alongside movement and where you need to go on the field. Um, but other than that, I, I played in a, a small rock band. We did like six song shows, but a lot of that was... Uh, you know, rock music with very few parts to it. You got your verse, your chorus, and your bridge. You got to remember three things for the for the song. Um, but yeah, just to be able to remember everything in this song, plus everything in six, seven, eight more songs on top of this, uh, there's just a real respect and awe that I think anybody has to have for this type of music, even if you don't enjoy it. Um, there's just a real level of skill here that it's, I don't think it's easy to dismiss. I, I think it would be almost impossible to dismiss the skill that's going on here. So I have to come at it from that angle that from, uh, the art form, the craft of being a musician, 
phenomenal stuff, 100%. These guys are just tearing it up, playing at, uh, you know, peak condition, doing insane stuff. Um, but musically, I'm just, I don't, I uh, can't even finish a sentence. <laughs> um, I'm just really lacking any sort of theoretical tie, theoretical uh, band that can tie it all together. Um, it just seems to be pure chaos. There's no rhyme or reason for anything. And of course, that there is room in the music world for that type of music. I'm not saying you have to abide by music theory in order to write a good song. Um, but for me, I'm really looking for those strong instances of cohesion, of tying a song together. Usually when that doesn't happen, I tend to approach it as a work of art. Um, sort of like avant-garde music where it chucks all convention out the window and aims for specific emotions or something like that and tries to create those emotions in the music through abstract unusual means. Um, I have seen I have seen legit sheet music with instead of notes, it had symbols. Uh, you know, one of them was a crocodile, and I saw the the trombone player emulate the sound of a crocodile on that beat. I mean, when you get into experimental composition and experimental avant-garde playing, you can reach these really odd things. Um, but for here, I think it it's kind of missing whatever oddity would push it into that avant-garde area, and it really is just chaos for the sake of chaos. I don't know how the chaos plays in to the themes, whether that's an emotional theme or the lyrical themes. Maybe it's talking about a specific concept or idea or story. But it just seems to be chaos because they write chaotic music. And it just, I'm not, I can't connect with it, I think is my big issue. Um, like I said, they do some really cool stuff, though. I mean, they have some really technical playing. The vocals are all over the place. They have uh, two types of uh, harsh vocals. There's a clean, and then Courtney Swain, I believe, comes in at the end and does that really nice, airy, pop kind of vocal over the ending. But just like I was talking about with everything losing connection and not really uh, having a, something that ties it all together... The ending of the song feels like it has nothing to do with the beginning, and I just I don't see any musical ideas that get carried over. And I do want to reiterate, songs do not have to be cohesive in order to be a song or in order to be good. Uh, we've definitely listened to some non-cohesive stuff on the channel that have really resonated with me. But this song just does not, despite all of the technical mu musician aspect just the feat of playing it is impressive but the music itself i just it's i'm just not getting it and maybe someone in the comments can hit me up and let me know what i'm missing maybe it could just be that this music isn't for me and that is fine everybody has their preferences and maybe this one just isn't mine maybe it just isn't mine today uh you know, we all grow with the music we listen to. Uh, we learn to enjoy things that we didn't before. Sometimes our music tastes change with age. Think back if you're older. Think back to your teenage years. Uh, what kind of music you enjoyed then. Uh, would you still listen to it today? Unironically or without the nostalgia. Um, you know, so our, our tastes change. There's a chance I may come around to this sometime in my life. But right now, sadly, it's just I don't get it and I want to because car bomb seems to have a fan base in the critical community uh, it's just I don't get it unless it's just people who enjoy the chaos I mean Mashuga I don't get either it is just extremely mathematical music it's to me it's lacking that actually that this kind of might be here too it's missing the soul and I don't want to say that negatively. I don't want to put the band down because, again, it just could be that this is my first reaction to the song and I'm not seeing it. It, it could definitely be there. But it feels too mathematical, too 
cold, if that's a way to, to, to envision it. But unfortunately, like I said, it's I, I'm torn on this because I there is some legitimately cool things going on. They just seem to be so distant from each other that it feels like a bunch of different ideas smashed together. And if that's what they're going for, congratulations, they nailed that 100%. And I think it is because the last time we checked out Car Bomb, again, it was sort of this controlled chaos. But... As I've said, it just isn't for me. This is where you guys come in, though. Hit me up with your comments. Let me know if you enjoyed this or not. If you're a big fan, sincerely, I would like to know, uh, you know what you enjoy out of this. Maybe allow me to see it from your perspective, from your angle. Because, um, like I said, to me, it just seems to be chaos for chaos, chaos's sake. Uh, Car Bomb writes these crazy songs, so... This song is crazy because it's written by Car Bomb, not because it has anything to do uh, with emotionally connecting the music to the listener. Uh, which is not a bad thing, but I, I tend to look for music that I can connect with, either musically or thematically or lyrically. Uh, when you're done commenting, you can head up to the description box. There's a link tree link in there. You can find anything you want connected to the channel. You can join the Discord community and chat with me and the rest of the critical community. You can join the Patreon campaign and help support the channel. You can check out my Twitter or look at any of the spreadsheets. When you're done with that, another way to support the channel, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Those buttons are above the description box. I'll be back tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 p.m. UTC with another unknown gem. Until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical of the music you listen to, and have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos.